I would like you to join me in welcoming the former Primer of Victoria and patron of ALCCI, the Honorable Steve Braggs, who's also from Lebanese origin, and we're so proud of him. Well, thank you very much uh, to Fadi Zuki, who's um, one of the pioneers of this great organisation. And could I, from the outset, congratulate Fadi on his award and the Australian Honours. Uh, it's a great credit to you that you um, have been awarded AOM, and I know that you'll carry that distinction, that with distinction as well, but congratulations. <laughs> uh, to the many distinguished guests who are here, uh, ambassadors from both um, Lebanon to Australia and Australia to Lebanon, the Consul General um, in Victoria to, to Lebanon, uh, parliamentary representatives, federal and state, including some of my former colleagues who I work with closely, former ministers, uh, Bronwyn Pike and Tim Holding amongst, amongst others. Uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to be here to support and to be patron of the Australia-Lebanon Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Of course, um, as we know, Lebanon has played a significant and important role in the Middle East and North Africa and was the trading hub for such a long period in our history. And if you see Lebanon now, you'll see the re-establishment of its trade and investment links more broadly across the Middle East and also into North Africa. You'll see massive infrastructure development and more cranes on the skyline, probably in Beirut, than you'll see in many other cities across, um, across the Middle East, certainly, and probably across most, most countries. Uh, you also see significant economic growth, uh, about 7% growth currently this year, backing on to about 9% last year and about 8% the year before, reasonably low inflation at around 3%, and very good and sound banking and financial services sector. The Beirut Hellenic Bank, of which I'm a part of, is a subsidiary of the Beirut Bank, the Arab Bank, which is here also, but uh, significant liquidity and very effective prudential supervision. So there is a great opportunity for Australia. Australia is part of the Asian century. Lebanon is part of the Middle East and North Africa century. Those ties will be very important in terms of trade and investment, and I'm very pleased we have uh, the Lebanese Australians who have helped form the Australian Lebanon Chamber of Commerce and Industry to put their weight behind the opportunities that will be there in the future for investment and trade. We've underutilised the skills and abilities we've had in this country for so long of people who have settled here, who have moved here, who are very successful here. It'd be great to see those skills used much better in links with Lebanon. Um, and to make sure we have entry into markets which are sometimes difficult and, and hard for Australia to have entry in. So I'm pleased to be patron of this organisation. I wish it well. I am very hopeful about Lebanon's economic future, but I'm even more hopeful about Australia's opportunity to build those investment and trade links, and particularly with the formation of the Chamber. Uh, thank, welcome to the Chamber, and thank you very much for the opportunity.